Hey, what's going on guys? It's Mike Del Coro, uh, Florida Paranormal Researcher with War Party Paranormal. And I just wanted to go over a couple basics. I told you guys I was gonna put some tutorials out there. If this is too 101 for you, I don't mind if you stop, but do subscribe and click the notification bell so you're alerted when I come out with new videos. But if this one's not for you, we're talking about EMF and the paranormal. Uh, it won't hurt my feelings if you come back to the next one. But if you're interested and you're not quite sure 100% you're not understanding it or you're just getting started. Now, this here is one of the most common devices that you're gonna see. They even use this as a logo uh, to represent the paranormal uh, some places. So, and you're gonna see it all over TikTok, you're gonna see it all over Instagram and, and YouTube and this and that. Now, this device is uh, a very sensitive piece of equipment that's a pro and a con right very rare is electromagnetic field paranormal um also with these devices they're very sensitive if you shake them or if you're walking with one it's gonna light up um now each one of these colors indicates a different milligauss and that's how electromagnetic field is uh measured now electromagnetic field can come from all types of equipment like i said uh, television sets, fans, uh, Wi-Fi routers, and especially your smartphone and smart devices. Even now that they're putting LiDAR into these phones for facial recognition, it's blasting uh, IR and EMF out of this thing like crazy. Uh, so when you see people walking around on, on social media and they're holding it in their hand and they're doing a sweep, unless you're sweeping, um, a location to see if there's EMF there, that's that's not okay. I mean, that's not the proper way to use it. Um, what you wanna do is you wanna take this device and then you wanna set it down somewhere. They even make stands uh, for them. I think they actually have them at the ghosthuntingstore.com. So it's a little easier so you don't have to like try to balance this thing, right? Um, or you can lay it down and you want it you don't want to film it with your cell phone. Um, if you get a text message, if you get a call, if your phone's transmitting, um, even now, if you put it on um, airplane mode with the LiDAR and stuff in them, um, it's going to set it off. So put your phone away, get it really far away. If you're going to film using one of these and somebody's doing it with their cell phone, it's more than likely a false positive. For instance, um, that's not paranormal. That's my phone or my computer or something here in the lighting or the, you know, that's that's causing that to happen. Now, like I said, if you could set it down somewhere where you could see it with the, you know, a camera, you could see it yourself, be far away from it or use a camera that does on a smartphone that usually doesn't put out much um, electromagnetic field. So you want to set this down and you want to see if you can get a, an intelligent response. That's what you're looking for. So if you could set this down somewhere and you could say, you know, politely, and, and this is the way that we conduct ourselves, you know, if you're here, if there's anybody here, if you want to come over to me and you see this little glowing light and you can it can sense you. So if you come over to it and you touch it, it can light up. And if you get a response, the first time is not going to be, you know, it could be anything, right? So you go, you want to start to see if you can establish an intelligent response coming from this. Because the theory is uh, that spirits, the paranormal entities, whatever you want to call them, ghosts, um, emit electromagnetic field energy because we're all created via energy. Um, so if you could say like, all right, if you're here and you could light this sucker up, we'll, uh, we'll know you're here. And then you can start getting, if you're starting to get intelligent responses, you go farther and further, right? All right, if you can answer this question, yes or no, for no, uh, light it up to yellow, for yes, can you light it up to red? Do you understand that? 
can you do it for me? And then if you start getting responses and you're doing different things like that, um, that's how we use them in the paranormal field. Like I said, when you see people walking around sweeping them or, or sitting on a little doll they bought from, from eBay claiming there's a demon in it and they're filming it with their phone, it's, it's a false positive. Either they don't know better or they're hoping you don't. So that's what this is all about. Also, right here, you see how it's like dark on the outsides of the two colors? Um, if that's bright white on the sticker, it's not an actual K2 reader. It's a knockoff Chinese version and they're junk. So don't get fooled. If you're not paying around $60 for this thing, it's not, it's not a, a real K2. So hopefully that was a little bit informative. And if you already knew that stuff and you watch it and you hung out, thank you. Uh, like and subscribe. I'm going to be doing some other ones and some other the basic stuff. Um, but I appreciate all you guys. And thank you very much. And we'll see you soon. Happy hunting.